North Bergen is really kicking it up a notch with disaster relief aid. With the help from Lowe's Home Improvement, they turned this former boiler room into an organized storage for relief supplies. All right, so today we're here to present the new North Bergen Cares Relief Center. So um, Lowe's of North Bergen and Lowe's of Jersey City partnered together to basically renovate this relief center that we had here at the township. So um, the program is the Lowe's Heroes Project and essentially it's just giving back, whether it's to communities, disaster relief, or investing in education. So this time we opted for investing in the community just because a lot of our associates actually live here and this is something they'd benefit from as well. Well, I reached out to the forum on the North Bergen Township website and then Amy got in contact with me and kind of just told me about North Bergen Cares and that we were able to help out and it really just kicked off from there. We planned it out in the summer maybe in July or August and then we started yeah two weeks ago so not the last Saturday the Saturday prior. The coordinator Amy was the brains behind the whole project. So North Bergen Cares is just such an awesome program. We are so lucky to have our mayor and our commissioners who give us such freedom to help out the people in the township. NB Cares started out as something small called the Emergency Relief Program and it just turned into something so large and so amazing that really helps all the residents of North Bergen. Our relief center was a very vital portion of our program and it was in desperate need of a little TLC so we actually had a different location that we used but what it is is it being here in Town Hall makes it more available to the residents on a consistent basis and it makes it easily accessible to families that need it in an emergency so North Bergen Cares, like I said, is a brand new program to the Township of North Bergen and it stands for Community Assistance, Relief, Events and Support. So we incorporate a lot of events, a lot of drives throughout the year for families in need. We help out fire victims, victims that are suffering from some kind of economic hardships or different kind of natural disasters that affect their homes, their lives, personal belongings, different kind of emergencies we cover a very wide portion of events here in North Bergen. Different points and different points of it, so we really want to thank the team. And Jimmy did the sign that you'll see in there um, and stuff, and there was so the project, what we did was we combined it with two stores. So it's our store and also the Jersey City Lowe's. Um, we worked together as a team, you know, with both of the individuals from both of the stores. The first thing we did was look at what they what they actually wanted in the room. You know, kind of listened to Amy. We met with Amy and talked about some of the opportunities that they had as far as, you know, the storage in the room and trying to get it ready for the care program for them. So we made a list of that. Then we met with the associates from the stores and then we came over here and started the project. So the first thing we did was we emptied the room and cleaned the room out and then we looked at what we can possibly do to give them as much organizing space possible so this way they can store the stuff that they have for the families that need and stuff like that for the community. So Amy gets Amy gets donations from different things whether it be different stores and stuff like that where people contribute I guess. Um, she named like Acme uh, would have a thing where at certain times of the year the customer can contribute to these programs and that's what they did. They storage all that. So that was all provided from different um, you know, uh, vendors and stuff like that throughout the community. And then what we did was just organize it for them and make it easier and possible to hold as much as possible and make it easier for them when they do service the customer, cu the um, people in the community, this way they have that product. You no, know, every store, every store gets $2,500 and for a Heroes Project to give back to the community, some type of project that the community, you know, um, in the community that we can give back to. Um, and it's just something that Lowe's, as a company, does that throughout the whole entire country. Working. Amy was working at a trailer off-site, and people who needed uh, food and clothing would have to go there. Now we're moving everything here, which is great, just due to the fact that how really well, you know, you, 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 I can't believe the boiler room for the way it looks now. Well, we had our North Bergen Cares program under Amy working out of a trailer, and we wanted to move it here. It was an expensive thing to do. Um, Lowe's uh, has a program where they uh, came in, it's called the Heroes Program, and they came in and they did this work uh, for Oris, and uh, it's a beautiful location now, and it was just a service done by a local business, so that's something.
something which is really wonderful. And they're one of the few businesses that go out of their way to do anything like that. So I thank them very much for what they've done for the town. So the program itself, like I said, originally was called the Emergency Relief Program. And it started after we had some major fires here in North Bergen. And uh, at the time, I was actually a volunteer when I started working with the mayor and the commissioners. And it was something that was very much needed here in town after we had a 10-unit apartment fire and then the following year a 60-unit apartment fire. So the mayor and commissioners saw the need to turn this into something consistent in North Bergen and not just something that happens in an emergency. So that's how this program actually came about. And from the beginning, it started, I won't say something small because we worked on such large projects, but it started as a smaller program and we just continued to incorporate different things that were already going on in town, such as drives for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And then we also started some new programs, our back to school drive, our Halloween costume giveaway. We incorporate a lot of outdoor events. Um, we're kind of like a traveling circus. I always make a joke. We have popcorn machine, cotton candy machine, snow cone machine, and we just have events all throughout the town, all throughout the year. So it's grown from something confined to emergencies into something so large and so great, and it's just, it's amazing. From North Bergen, this is Deanna Adams with Hudson TV.